All right, guys, thanks for tuning into the channel again. As you can see here, we got the Honda out and we got the side pieces and stuff that I was discussing in the other video. If y'all didn't see it, it was for the chin spoiler in the front. Uh, so in this video here, we're going to do the ones on the side and the ones in the back back here behind the wheel. So let me flip y'all around. So yeah, as I was saying, we're gonna do these flat pieces, as you can see here, on the sides here. And then this little piece here goes around the back over here. Pretty sure I think it's this one. Yeah, it's gonna go like that. So, that will look pretty killer. And then, of course, these here. This one starts off in the back, which is gonna be like this. Definitely gonna give it that lower look. So I'll have to see what we have to modify in order to get them on the bottom. I don't think it should be too bad here. Um, Not really seeing anything for holes, so I'm guessing you just pick and choose where you want to screw the screws in at, and you go to town on it. That's what it looks like. So we'll see what we have in store here as far as putting them on. I know I'll have to cut some of it off right here because I don't want to take that piece off it's part of the core so let me set y'all up on the tripod here and we'll get started on the back ones because they'll be a lot easier all right so these pieces here you put the flat build side right up here so it's going to go just like so And then all you basically have is just some regular sheet metal screws and you're just going to start screwing her in.
All right, so there you go on that. That's how she looks. Let me zoom in a little bit for y'all. There y'all go. Not too bad. We'll move on to the other side. All right, so on this one, it's a little bit different. So on the big pieces that you put together, you're gonna, it comes with these. So you're gonna put them like this and then you're gonna run a screw here and screw there. But of course you're gonna have two that ties them together. And then in here, wherever you wanna put your screws at, which I think that's what these pads are for. Then you're gonna stick these right in here like this and put your screws through it for you know a more reinforcement it says which you could probably take some 3m tape and run down these if you did not want to uh, do all the screwing in the uh, vehicle itself so Let's see here as far as brackets are concerned. We got two. All right, and then the big ones, we got two and two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're going to have six of those. So I would say two, four, six. Yeah, so basically two in each panel. So you got one, two, three panels. So do two little ones there, two little ones here, two little ones there, big one, big one. And then that should have you covered. And of course, like I said, I'm going to have to cut some off right here at the end. So it will clear that mud flap. But we're going to start back here first. And there's also, I noticed something right in here. That we're going to have to take that off. So it'll set flat up in there.
so of course this one here I made a little mark because I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to cut it. guys so here's what the back piece looks like all finished here's what the side piece looks like now let me take y'all underneath here so hopefully I can kind of show y'all as you can see the little doubler pieces there how she looks. Got her flush right there. 